Hey everyone, I've been crushing with Overheal Priest. Yep, that's right, Overheal Priest. This is a list originally come up with by Kales Luna or Kobe. Uh, they used to play in GM, uh, but now, uh, but now, uh, so it's just sort of, uh, this list feels really, really good uh, on ladder right now. The list basically is uh, got the Crimson Clergy package, similar to the Amaton Priest package, uh, but it runs some different cards. One, it runs Injured Hauler, which is your kind of get back on board. Um, it's got Ignis, which is often uh, a win condition in the late game, um, and it has uh, Heartbreaker Heatedness, which is overheal, deal five damage to random enemy, which you can use to finish off or even OTK your opponent with the right hand. Uh, both these cards work well with Flash Heal because they deal four to themselves. Flash Heal heals five, so they get to fully heal the minion and get the effect, but they also, Injured Hauler can kind of come back from with Animate Dead, uh, which can be nice if it's your only minion played or if you just get lucky. But bottom line, the deck is usually looking to just do tempo plays, um, things like Injured Hauler, things like getting Thrifty Drifters down for zero, um, and then you tra and then use that tempo advantage to push for either an Ignis win, a Heartbreaker win, or transition to Amonthul abuse. So, you know, maybe you get uh, Kriu's Creation Protocol, get two Amonthuls, draw another one, you shoot Amonthul, Amonthul, Amonthul. A lot of decks can't handle that. Um, I've been playing this. I had a six I've had a 65% win rate over two days. I climbed from, what, 120 because I was just playing things out and got back up to rank 28 i believe was uh at the end of the stream uh deck is legit uh but this deck is 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 tricky is complex is not the one-dimensional spend your mana uh this deck is very uh, not only has d d difficult um te uh, technique of you know getting your crimson clergies getting your placements uh hand management uh finding win conditions there's a lot going on in this deck so i feel like you know if you're trying to get legend for the first time this is not your deck but if you want something a little bit more out there to really test your abilities and make you work on your on your ability to think about lots of different ways to win i think this deck is great um so um but yeah it's very simple amaton priest we still have pip we still have uh we have uh things like uh funnel cakes but we also have fan clubs um, fan clubs are really nice, both with uh, the are both with Crimson Clergy. Our, our injured haulers can also be used with Heartbreak, Heartbreaker to often win games. So uh, so yeah, um, deck's really strong. I'm gonna go and look at my show some Mulligan statistics because the Mulligans I still haven't quite 100% figured out on this deck. So I'm gonna show you kind of what I've been doing. So uh, here's the overall Mulligan statistics. You can see Crimson Clergy and Pip are really good. Uh, Ignis uh it says it's a keep i would be hesitant to keep it but i do keep it sometimes against warrior um because uh, uh sort of getting a, a fast weapon or a 10 mana weapon can often transition to uh, a victory uh so i it might be so important that you have it but uh, most of the time i wouldn't i think this is sort of a sometimes the stats here are misleading uh hidden gem is often a keep um, I've been keeping Injured Hauler, but the stats sort of disagree with me, and I might uh, stop keeping that as much. I've been keeping Fan Club a lot. Uh, Animate Dead, I think, is good if you have, like, Injured Hauler or maybe one of these cards, but I wouldn't keep it on its own. Um, and I want to show you kind of my statistics and my cap rate. You can see Pip the Potent, Crimson Clergy, Funnel Cake. These are my always keeps. Funnel Cake uh, and Cathedral, uh, I'm doing okay with. Creation Protocol. Um, I've been keeping a good amount of the stat. My, my stats say like Procreation Protocol. Uh, the global stats do not like it, uh, but I seem to be doing well with it. But I'm only keeping it about 70% of the time. Uh, so it's I, I'm, I'm not 100% keep. I think if the matchup, you already have a good hand, maybe with some Christian Clergy of Funnel Cakes, you might not need it. Um, and you can see also I've been... Uh, I've been just struggling with, the, I've been keeping Injured Hauler and it's been doing poorly for me. So this is probably a sign that you know maybe I am keeping this card too much uh, myself. Uh, but you can see sort of the pip, the, and I wouldn't trust this one. This is a 100% win rate, but I have a 0% kept rate. I think it just got it's just one game that happened to go well. 
so the bottom line is these these are your kind of your main keeps power crit sacred eyes uh, i always am keeping when i have crimson clergy but almost never otherwise uh and this is generally what i'm going for so uh i think that's just my general mulligans uh but you can see mulligans can get tricky tricky you know a lot of cards have synergy with overheal you know things like fan club with crimson clergy or pip uh sometimes i'll keep like you know something like a, a shard or a or a light that burns when I have Pip in my opening hand because I want to do get two of those. So bottom line, things get a little bit trickier. Uh, but uh, this deck is you really have to be sort of emotionally flexible and ready to really work with what you got. So anyways, uh, I really enjoy this deck uh, and I highly recommend if you're looking for something a little different, a little thing to expand your Hearthstone horizons, go ahead and try it. I know he's got some games for you guys to enjoy. And some days, you know, I don't know. My... Uh, Yeah, all right. Did I unban him? I think I unbanned him, right? Wait, did I unban him? Did I type it right? So... What are you mulligan for this deck? Crimson Clergy oh, and a funnel cake that'd be pretty good. I type slash unban. I don't know. Are I mean yeah, well it just felt like Yeah. It, I mean it just felt like everything was like, oh bad things can happen to you. Which is I mean it's re totally that's reasonable, right? So I don't know. I just was like I don't know. I I lost it. it was like what the where 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 it was going. But anyways, all right, we're about to pop off hard here, chat. Light sings, and the impure falls, and the impure falls. Draw two more cards here. <clears throat> Is that worth it? When I draw two more to nine, I could just play this injured hauler, but then I don't kill this. It's also kind of good to get it healing. I don't know. I think I'm gonna do that. I need to find Let's call it. I don't really need much more draw at this point in the game. I have like plenty of draw. I don't know. I I thought so I don't know yeah so it's a uh, I don't know it's a uh, yeah I do know um somebody who like her brother uh like was dating someone and like like uh, she could see his tongue like got it like got got, got somebody who used him and uh you know and now he's like real. And like he got a lot, of, like he went in debt, like like got a lot of credit card debt, like dating this girl or something like that. Um, and then now he's like just super negative about relationships, uh, and that happens, right? Like you know, pe people people use each other, and then it's like it's real hard to once you once you've been hurt, it's like it's uh you know, and there's a lot of people out there, you know, you gotta be careful about, right? Chat, I don't know. Yeah. Got, yeah, I did. I don't know. You gotta protect yourself. Dude, dude I did see, like, watch, uh, like, there's, uh, there's this guy on the internet who's, like, a divorce lawyer. And he's, like, he's pretty charming. Um, he's a charming dude. Charming young divorce lawyer. Uh, but, like, I watched it and I just became completely, like, he was like pretty pro prenup and I like after I was like, yeah, why aren't you? I don't know why people aren't getting prenups after watching that. He completely convinced me. I don't know what do I do here.
Do I want to overdraw here? I can just double trade here and then I don't overdraw. Seems decent. Be gone! Be gone! Watch the Dude, chat, I just like it's all it's all about having the drama. Turns 10 cents for chat input, dude. That would be Dude, dude, I would be starting, dude. I would be like uh, having, <laughs> chat. if I got paid 10 cents for chat input, dude, I would be having like trolls come in here just saying whatever ridiculous stuff to get chat riled up, you know? Yeah, I did. I'd be, <laughs> I did <just>, so. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, what I saw of the prenup is it's kind of like you, it's like you, you either take, like, you're going to take a cover, a contract, so you can either make your own contract, you know, with your own rules, and you can both agree on what's fair if you break up, you know, and if you can't agree on, like, I, I, I kind of, like, was convinced by him where he's like, if you can't have a conversation on, like, what's fair in your relationship and, like, what you want to happen if you break up, like, how, how are you going to make it in marriage, you know? Like, if you can't have, I don't know. But I do think a lot of couples basically, like, survive off, you know. People say, like, oh, it's all about communication. But I think a lot of relationships survive because they just don't talk about things. Because if they did, they would just realize they don't like each other. That's the cynic in me. Heartbreaker? I like Heartbreaker. Go for the finish here. Mm. I have too many minions. Yeah, exactly, tiny little one. I don't know if you can't like I feel like a lot of couples just don't have tough conversations. Um and it's like that's probably, you know. If you can't, you know, if you can't go to your, your spouse and be like, should we get a prenup? And be like, well, you know, is there ever a situation where we fight? And, you know, like if you can't have that conversation, if you have to block out that, that I feel like that's, I mean, but I think a lot of people are just, are incapable of having real conversations like that, you know? So... But, I mean, you want to do it beforehand, right? Because once you hate the person, you're like, <laughs> I can imagine myself, you know, like, you know, they do something and you hate them. And then you're like, screw whatever we said before, you know? Little time. Yeah. That's definitely off really limits. Exactly, dude. Dude, dude. dude, dude, your spouse says like, "Why do you? Why do you ever want to spend time with me? Why are you always watching this no hands guy? What does he have that I don't?" Wait, I got blood plague here. Crap. All right, Chef Lethal, all right. All right, technically I threw with that location, but whatever. Like, no, I didn't, okay. Plays ODK. Oh, I don't know, Jakey. Time will tell. Where you followed? Wait, they're running freaking sketchy strangers in this mofo. What is going on over here? I need to find a new gig. This is kind of a tell. I don't clear this, right? But whatever. Watch 
the door! Dude, it is weird. Who here can spell Zinjari? Anybody? So I'm in this weird spot where it like kind of looks like Counterspell. Um, I'm like kind of scared here. Light sings and the okay, now I know it's not Counterspell. Oh wait, crap. <laughs> this play didn't really work, because... Oh well. this play really hard but then got bailed out by RNG I guess if it was objection it did work so I kind of I don't know it got confusing dude why are they running they must be playing like Highlander Warrior here it's the only reason you'd play this I don't really need much card draw though um if that <laughs> That's actually that was crazy. Alright, well here we are. Hmm. Watch the door. I think I just take double, um, double Ignis here. Light sings and the impure <laughs> Water, sweet water, water, beautiful water. So what I can do is go Amanthul as well, chat. Pick me, pick me. Um, That's what what um I can go Amanthul and then like use it to do something and then copy he Hedonus uh, on the following turn. Our gift of the That's fun, playing this attack.
Do I play any cards from other classes? No. These all kind of suck, though. Draw an elemental. I can split. I can split heavy gem into two. Seems pretty bad, though. Um, this seems pretty bad. I don't have any undead minions, right? I must Um. So I'll take Tess because it's like, could in theory get good. Water. Be gone. Put their life down to 12 into their uh into our 10 mana weapon turn so they kind of have to respond and then we drop down the weapon it's probably a win the titan's shall never die. no sauce today I just kind of wanted to not have music today. Light sings and the impure fall. I know, right? I get to Druid. Um, I think we want to, like, I mean, um, our probably our optimal play is to draw Funnel Cake, then go Creation Protocol and get two Thrifty Drifters next turn. Um, so we've played uh, three one drops so far, so this should be the fourth. Um, a Funnel Cake would be the fifth. So. Abomination! There's a thrifty drifter. I like to draw funnel cakes here. Draw funnel cakes. Alright. Hmm. This is awkward in that. So I could get the funnel to the thrifty drifter down, but like I only get one. So I think I'm better off doing this. Gets me two more draw. Um, I go thrifty next turn. I don't know. I go double thrifty now. I know I can't get up power, but still. Hmm, I don't have much board space here, so I guess I... Um... Water! Sweet, beautiful water! Oh. 
Water. Sweet, beautiful water. Abomination. Be gone. Abomination. You know what? They're so slow here. My hand is too full. The problem is like I'm like this close to killing him here, but I have like board space. Wait, oh, I can um. Okay, 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 okay. Here's the plan. All right, I um. So I can kill up my own 5-5 five five here, and then like play this guy, and then go fan club. Okay, I think I have guaranteed lethal actually. Abomination. Got him. How many did you get there? Oh. I'm named Mystery Box over clicking. Wait, what are you talking about, Danny? I'm named Mystery Box over clicking Germans that believe in ghosts. What are you talking? What are you? What are you refer referring? There's something in the YouTube comments, Danny. Wait, son of a serrated bone spike, chat. This actually sucks. Hmm. So, you know, I'm actually. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Okay, did yeah, I remember somebody did for some reason like uh, the did it's all. Uh, you always wonder uh, the 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 Tiga warlock. No one likes this deck, did. I mean, like it's not getting clicks. I said actually climbing, so people should be impressed, right? They should be like, wow. This person is actually climbing. I also want to actually climb. So I'm going to play this deck so I can actually do great in life, you know? But no, they don't really want that. I really draw more than I need uh, injured ha hauler here, unfortunately. I don't know. But I've been, I've been uh, grinding the YouTube pretty hard this week. It's good to, I don't know, it's good to grind the YouTube right before the expansion. Because then, then the algorithms like you, so... Yeah, I don't know, I, I mean the, the, the Warlock deck is like, it's a totally legit, like, tier 3 deck. Um, in my opinion. And like, people don't like hearing tier 3, but there's a difference between like a tier 4 deck, which is garbage, which a tier 3 is like, good but not great. Like, it's like, you can get top 100, which we did, with a tier three deck, um, with just some reasonable play. Like, that, that, that's like, that matters, you know? So, I don't know. Light sea and the impure. Oh, Wait, it was plagiarized here, chat? Son of a plagiarizing. This could be bad. Dude, I'm like, who runs this plagiarized? So they randomly generated it. Uh, the vidIQ, yeah, dude. T t tell me, Danny. Um, I I've been using like uh, I'm not I'm never like I, I I looked online. I even talked with my older brother 
like our someone in my my who does uh, search engine optimization for a living, um, but he doesn't really understand like the YouTube algorithm because um, like mostly like most of your reviews come from um, this. So I've been kind of like I have like a copy paste I put in just with some keywords, uh, and I'd like and I I don't really. And then I just put like the name of the title and I try and have like the top title be something that's like appealing to click on, you know, but I don't, I haven't really like mastered the art of, uh, hmm. would I rather have two thrifty drifters? I think so. I'm gonna forge it. These suck. Actually, double Amethyst is probably better than double Ignis here. I think I would rather. I think I'd rather draw than kill this. <clears throat> oh yeah. So I mean, if um, if you like, if anything is like. I'm not really sure how to optimize. I've I even gone to like other YouTuber streams. Um, and see what they put in their keywords. And I don't, th I'm not, I'm not sure how much it matters, but if I, you know, if there's something easy to do, I would like, you know, but, uh, so yeah, Danny, I would, I would happily take some advice. If you, if you, if you look at it and you have like, oh, you should make sure to put like, insert this keyword into your, into most of your videos, you know, uh, I'd be, I would happily uh, use that advice. Okay, can I try to flash you here? Cause I can wreck him. I know, right? Death, have you played Last Epoch? I'm wondering if like, okay, if I'm in like a little bit of a depression, we're playing uh, Last Epoch, you know, let's say I like, okay, let's, uh, let's say I need to just chill for a week and let my emotions like calm down. Is Last Epoch a good choice for that lifestyle or not? I, wait, the Final Fantasy VII Remake, it's like for PlayStation, right? Good, good, good choice to to kill some time. Ignore the to get rid of some depression. Got that jerk wad, son of a gun, dude. All right, I'll take this. Because uh... I've been playing SSF and PUE, but I'm kind of like I don't know. Play Baldur's Gate. Is there viably worth it? Uh, I think a lot of people like having, so a lot of the YouTube format I find is like people want to see someone playing a deck before they invest money in it, right? So they want to see the deck in action. They want to like get a feel for it because, um, it, you know, it costs money. So they don't want to just see like some stats saying, oh, this is the best deck they want. Um, oh, did, did the secret wrecks me here? Um... Wait a second. Actually, I, I can clear like a lot of their stuff here, right? Or I can, uh, do I just land on Amethul here? Oh, uh, dude, objection wrecks me. 
But Amadol is really good. I'm gonna risk it. That was a risky play, chat. Not gonna lie. That was a risky play from the No Hands Gamer. And it pays off. Ooh, Velorak is good. Well, I um, I could have gone Crimson Clergy into Injured Healer and then Hero Powered, and I could do two damage to all this stuff there. All right, thanks, Danny. I don't know if you like do you directly message me. Got there. I could have silenced and gotten rid of their get their thing, but it's fine. Hey you! It's your lead for me. Oh no! The Ford of Ford. Must have been you. Dude, I can literally just shard here, and then these guys wreck it, right? Oh, I gotta watch out for counter spell, I guess. Face immediately. I don't know why I did this. You will all cheer for me. Nice did you get there? I mean, I'm with the wall, so won the game there. Dude, we are climbing like crazy. Yeah, so, I. <laughs> I shy, Bob. <laughs> ah, dude. Well, like a tiny little one. Let's say you have two guys that treat you well and love you. You know, wouldn't you rather then then you would pick the better looking person, right? Like assuming they they treat you exactly like both really well and they both like think you're great. You know? Son of a gun chat. You suck. Cause I think I don't know what do I take here. Cause I think uh those really suck. I 
did it. The but <laughs> even so, I don't know. Should, should I go for um, double thrifty or yeah, I think double thrifty is better than um, is better than uh, water, sweet water, 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 Topic swap, I don't know, dude. Pretty fly, dude. Dude, I don't know. It seems like relationships and uh is like the big topic for tonight. And uh and uh hotness, dude. I did actually radical board that. Dude, did you know like out of remember I said there's like forty hot people uh that can make a living purely on hotness? Coincidentally, thirty nine of them use factor. Alright. Uh only one of them doesn't. Uh, and they're, 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 it's only because the, they, 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 uh, they use HelloFresh, so. <laughs> I mean, the way it's, uh... Do not. I could save my marriage, you did. <laughs> My partner it's like congratulations at the mug. <laughs> I, I, I agree with you on that tiny little one, but I find also though, like what's interesting is sometimes like people that you find attractive, you didn't initially find attractive, and then like they, they're, re they're really great in some way. And then you actually like start looking at them and they look better than they did like before. If that makes sense. That's kind of my experience. Like they got better looking somehow by by, uh, I don't know if that makes sense. Time goes short. Son of a pounce. Familiarity, more attractive. Yeah, that's probably true, MJ. Yeah. You will all cheer for me. Water.
Do I just light that burns this so I can go? I'm getting the draw three was pretty brutal. Yeah, it is though. It is weird. I I do think there's like so many like qualities that are very hard to quant. Like there there. Well, I came for her somebody to say for oh. Thank you, Amber Guy. I do think there are like lots of qualities that are hard to quantify that are like very important for being attractive. But like, they're but you know they're they're much more hard to like say. Oh, just do this or be this or this person. It's even how like I we were talking about Taylor Swift the other day, and I was like, I on an emotional level like don't understand why she's famous, you know. But I'm sure she's famous for a good reason. But like. If you just said like, you know, 15 years ago, you said Taylor Swift and insert other celebrity, I wouldn't know why. Cause people are like, oh, she's hot, but there's a million hot people, right? Like, why is she, you know, like, and I think there's a lot of like, you know, these kind of traits of why, like why people find certain people attractive that aren't as simple as like, insert these like nice buckets, you know? So yeah. God, God damn it, man. Dude, that's the real answer. Wait, not? Bro. Can I draw me, um... Uh, shard is lethal. I think I go for shard lethals here. Oof. Oof. Oh, crap. Don't like that my, my guys are all far apart here. Oh god chat. Wait, oh, let's go for Wait, oh here we go. If I could just hit shard, I have lethal, right? I think we go for as many shards out as we can go if we get here. One more out to hit shard here. Got it, let's go dude, let's go. I hold location on one because I put the portal in my hand. I want to duplicate it. I'm looking to hit Crimson Clergy here and then go double Crimson Clergy fan club and win the game. Um, this isn't as terrible as I thought because like we have anime dead and we can actually double up the anime dead. So. <laughs> All right, hand just got really good. I need to find a new gig. Bruh. What's the cause? Mm, it's really bad because now. My anime dad doesn't work as well, but whatever. Oh. 
think they pick objection second here ever. I'm just not gonna worry about it. Watch the thorns. That's probably let's see if it's um We just set up for next turn. Each uh, win is up like 10 ranks, every loss is down 50 ranks. Um, that's because it's March, so it's early in the month. So more pl more players are getting into your ranks. So it's really not from losing, it's just, uh, yeah. So um, really you feel like you're losing something, but it's like you never had it to begin with. <laughs> Chat, it's, it's kind of like, <laughs> it's kind of like when you think you've met someone uh, and you're gonna connect with them and then maybe date them and then you real like and then you feel like you lost them But really you never had them to begin with <laughs> Chad, I got real dark there <laughs> I had to press down, dude. Dude, I'm doing, dude, I don't know why being like really dark and depressing like makes me feel great. I don't even know if I want to really use this funnel cake here. It's awkward because I'm like having board space issues here. That's what I want. Well, now maybe I do use the funnel cake. I have too many minions. I have too many minions. I need to really clear up. I can clear up my own one threes here. I can lethal them, but it's hard to clear up the one threes here. Maybe they do something. Play another minion. There's something I could trade these off with. I right. Uh, you fold. And it's too cold. Maybe I have lethal here. Do I play the four drop? Um, I have a trade here. Uh, I have 11, I, they have 22. I think I have a lethal here. It's just a little complex and I overdraw a ton. Be gone, abomination! Be gone, 